meth lobster. We're going to solve this problem using a line plot and what we know about fractions. Allison ate one-third of a pizza. Her brother Joshua ate half of the pizza. How much was eaten altogether and how much was left over, if any? Well, this line shows you one whole pizza. This would be half a pizza. First we want to see how much they ate altogether. So we would combine one-third plus one-half. But we can't add them because they have different denominators. So we have to get a common denominator. The common denominator is the product of three and two, which is six. So we have to multiply three times two and two times three. But when you're multiplying to keep the value the same or to have equivalent fractions, you have to multiply by a form of one. Two over two is a form of one because two divided by two is one and three over three is another form of one. So one third equals two sixths and one half equals three sixths. To find out how much they add all together, you add and get five sixths. Well, let's try it on this line plot. We can divide half into sixths. In fact, we can divide all of this into sixths. That would be one sixth, two sixths, three sixths. And we continue four sixths, five sixths, and one whole pizza would be six sixths. Okay, so let's add. 2 6, which would go here, plus 3 6, 1, 2, 3, would give us 5 6. So that answers our question, how much altogether? How much is left over? Well, you can see this on the line plot, or the line graph, or you can subtract. 1 minus 5 6. As you know, there are six sixths in one. Take away five six, which gives you one sixth. Right here, one take away five six would give you this area right here, which is equivalent to one sixth. When you want to know about math, listen to the math lobster.